Let's make an exchange, shall we? Oh, she sounds hot already. Is this Kafka? No, nah, this this sounds this sounds a little different. The ray of light of a crystal chalice. The light that shone. This is the same environment from when um the trailblazer was seeing into uh the the past memories of uh, Madame Cacolia. From that crystal spoke to me. Listen to the parable of the stars. Parable of the stars. The nameless one, the pathless one, arrived from the edge of the wilderness, clad in stellar radiance. Go now, march unwaveringly into solar wind. At the end, you will return to my embrace. Mm. Towards the light. Return to my embrace. Yes, mommy. <laughs> Yet that light began to burn, piercing through the clouds as a golden death. Towers crumbled, and the people fled, for the sun was soon to set and meet with vicious destruction. Oh, so this is Ayana I Lore. Dismayed, oh child of the world. The Lock's arrow will descend to purge the wicked abominations. You must follow the traces left behind in the storm's wake. Ah. The celestial one guards their secrets. Uh, um, this is like that society. Um, I, I forget what they're called, but this is like Madame Hurt is a part of it. I can tell by the images already. I don't even have to see where we're going with this. Plotting out the roots that connect all Yeah, things. definitely. Definitely. But they are silent, like a shroud of mist at the center of the universe. Listen to the silence. And you I feel like I'm supposed to know what this is. Where the stars are resting. Let your staff strike the earth, they say. Once and again. The tender sprouts will grow to the sky, and the dew that falls from their branches will rid you of sickness and poison. Blindfold your eyes, they say, that the approaching darkness may strike no fear in you. This Let is so sick. Burden your soul, nor numb your stride. Genius society is what they were called. They say, and lift up the tablets of lapis. Read them aloud. Let the fire that forged the bricks and the ones that laid the walls foundations be known. Then they say, Oh, you who have reached the end. Whoever's speaking is connected with this this ion. Join this great choir and feast. Listen to the beating puzzle pieces. Upon yeah. Of hearts, holding you in their embrace. Look upon the courtesan's extravagance, the mariner's intemperance. Listen to the infant in the mirror, the waves as they enter the dream. Oh, wow. The tipping of the balance, the shapeless prince. And finally, measure the world against yourself. And take all such things to heart. This is the path you should walk, they say. Lucky Billy, depart once more. Lucky Billy. Countless shooting stars streak the sky tonight. Should you choose the right one, it will carry your wish. She's hot. To thousands. Of distant worlds. I feel like this was kind of like a roadmap in a way, but not necessarily. Like they they gave us a bunch of different paths that we we hadn't seen in in the game yet. So maybe there's even like there's there's going to be a lot of aeons that we haven't seen or talked about yet, and and we're going to learn about how to channel. The powers that these aeons have while also connecting these different worlds to each other there's 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 something here that that's that's deeper than what we're getting in the game so far and what's what's interesting is 
this is kind of like what Genshin did at the very beginning, right? Because the very beginning of Genshin was so vastly different from what we expected it to turn into today in terms of story. So <laughs> I'm actually very eager to see how much how much this game is going to evolve over time. If we're going to get different classes for the Trailblazer, um, if how these powers are going to be channeled through the Trailblazer, how many uh, different Aeons is he going to be able to channel, he or she, depending on who you chose. Like, this is going to be sick. This is actually going to be sick. I can't wait. I literally can't wait. God damn, she's hot. <laughs> 